We're not gonna get away with this, are we? Hey everybody, I'm well. Sass. I'm Sass's Unicorn. We're playing a game that I've wanted to have for a good long while, Transistor. And we're just kind of thrown right into the gameplay. This is my first time ever actually launching the game. I just bought it this morning. And I'm a, I, I haven't done any real blind commentary, but I know virtually nothing about this game. So, I kind of expected there to be some form of main menu. There wasn't. So let's just, let's, let's play. <laughs> So, so far, you know about as well as much as I do, it controls a little differently than I expected, to be perfectly honest. We'll figure something out. From what I understand of the lore, this guy's uh, identity, consciousness, personality, all, ki all got, like, downloaded, I guess, into this sword-like thing that I guess is called the Transistor. And I believe this lady here... I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil what very little Thanks. of this I know. Found us already. They want you back, I bet. Well, I have no idea what's going on. But let's go process this thing. Oh god. Process. Kill. How? That was... This is interesting. I just have no idea what's what I'm doing, what's going on, you know. Quick point, come close all. Um Uh Okay. Creep one plan crash. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Ow. So there's some kind of, like, strategy aspect. That's, that's actually really cool. So there's a leveling system, it seems. So hey, I have there. like no idea what's even going on here. Hello, world. Look at all that. Yeah, jeez. We're on the edge of town, a hundred blocks away. Hmm. I hope I can be hauled. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time launching the game, so it's obviously my first time recording the game. So I don't know how easily I can be hauled for, uh, right now because I know that when I'm playing Team Fortress 2 I really need to tone down the audio and that. I'm gonna try not to cut talk over cutscenes. Yep. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. So I know pretty much nothing about this game. All I know about this game is that it was made by the same people that made Bastion. Hmm. 
Well, I got one of them, I guess. Uh. One away. Ow. That hit, there's reasons. Good. File death cannon. Uh oh. Ow. Kaboom. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Yay, forty percent level two, I guess. She awake. She doesn't even look she doesn't even look alive, let alone awake. Plat L. Hmm. Hi. You okay? So I, I. I see. Sure. Um. If she wants to come along, we can use her. That. Okay. Okay. She says hello. Her name's Lillian. Intersection. Let's see. Huh. So, <clears throat> I guess she was killed and kind of like the guy who's in a transistor um, has basically been toned into data. Wish it was raining. Cover your tracks. Hmm. Go sign out. Huh. Well, within seconds of taking out three of their big three of their guys. And just like that I win. No Yay! Problem. That was man, this is really interesting. <laughs> Really cool. Else. Just he keeps talking and it's preventing me from doing so. Um, so like, ah, uh, oh my god, he will, he will never stop talking. Okay, I'm sensing a plot down here, so let's get this. I'm so sorry, Red. They took your voice. I couldn't stop them. Well, we took something of theirs. Let's just go. Come on, just go. Damn. Look right here to see. Oh, that's cheap. Ow. Why do you want me to undo my last action? Mm -hmm. It's looking like combat is somehow going to be my best time to talk. Holy crap. Um, which is bad because, you know, <laughs> the whole talking thing prevents okay. the whole combat the the combat there. and talking he will never stop just kind of interfere with one another so I guess that lady got killed and like the dude who I guess was in the transistor um, got turned into basically raw data which we could use in the transistor as the our thought ability spark. I'm loaning this alongside all of you. Either that or you guys all know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> I'm loaning. Oh, okay. So this guy's name is Moyle P or P Moyle something. Hey, Mr. 
and he has also somehow become Tim raw data. <clears throat> and now we have fourth ability, Jaunt. Cool. This is very interesting. The, the ability is all really oh, interesting here. Cut off our escape. Well. Come on, then, tough guy. Before I take my tone, I think I'm gonna do. Jason Crow. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, okay, good. That does do damage then. Whoops. Do do do. I wonder who it is that's humming that. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Man, this is gonna throw me off. <laughs> I'm kind of playing this like I played Diablo 3, uh, at least I'm trying to, sort of, in that how I play Diablo 3. So John doesn't do damage apparently, that's annoying. Uh, how I play Diablo 3, I always have my thumb on the shift and then I have my fingers on 1, 2, and 3. Um. <laughs> Oh good, that walked. That wasn't what I meant to do. So, like, I always have my index finger on the three, but because shift doesn't do anything for me in this game, and my ability is all one through four, I'm doing it with, like, my pinky on one and my index finger on four. So I keep trying to hit three with my index finger, and I end up hitting four as a result. And I guess it's our character that's humming during the, um, during the tone, which is really cool to think about. I just, I'm not sure I did that how I wanted to at all. Let's try this. Man, the combat in this is really cool. This is just not what I expected at all. I'm, I'm so happy I have this. And I just know nothing about this game at all. But hey, I'm level 2 now. So let's see what that... Select function. Hmm. This is, oh, this is cool. So we have active slot effects and upgrade slot effects. I guess every, I guess our four main abilities are called functions. And we have two options for these things. We could put them on the active slot, which means that when we use the fun, which I think means that when we use the function, uh, this additional effect will happen. So like for bounce it would make it so a ricocheting bolt jump uh, is released which fire jumps from target to target. Or if we put it on the upgrade slot of the function it adds a chain reactive effect to most functions. So maybe if say on our one ability crash which is just like a quick basically just like a quick basic attack I guess quick little shockwave I maybe it'll just tone it into a sort of AOE type thing maybe it'll uh, maybe the shockwave will hit one guy and then bounce to the other one. I don't know we could we could go with that to find out um, and then he'll conceal the user's physical self amplifying the next action taken so 
use an ability and then tone invisible like stealth and then you can run around and your next attack will actually do more damage and raise the potency of most functions when backstabbing maybe this isn't it says most functions maybe this maybe active slot is like they are on your one two three and four but upgrade slot is on your character or your uh herself this lady red that old transistor keeps calling her mm. i'm gonna have to go with bounce because this i don't know this sounds like it might be a little complicated probably better for future playthrough but i mean this it's got the little one thing that has two things i'm just gonna I have to hope that I can even take this. New function, bounce. We're still here. Yes, we are still here because I'm trying to figure out how the, how any of this walks. Especially seeing as now. Look at that. Now I'm really confused. Hold on, let's see. Uh, hmm. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh jeez. This is... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... Not much... I'm not much more than confused at this point. Um... I think tab doesn't do anything. Space activates your tone. Nothing... Huh. Isn't that interesting? Explains the system of... You can actually... Uh, click on something, and then that... Is what's activated next on your right click. And... I was curious as to why that would even be there, because you could just... Use 1, 2, 3, and 4, but you can also... Use W S A W A S D to control your character which is I guess why that matters at all interesting Nothing. but cool now what? though I'm probably going to continue just using okay, one two three four. Oh, oh okay just wondering about that hmm oh I can okay so what though so the active slot upgrade the active slot effect I guess just makes it so that it goes under your one, two, three, or four. Upgrade slot maybe already installed, select function. Choose a function up to upgrade. Oh okay. It's it's not so subtly encouraging me to put bounce on crash. The so crash will train to multiple opponents nearby. Huh. Locked upgrade slot bounce crash. So of these the oh it's not okay. Huh. Jump down twenty. Jump range. Hmm. Crash will train to multiple nearby targets. Breach will... Spark will ricochet from its original point of impact, causing a secondary impact. But doesn't it do that already? Jump will gain a faster cooldown, but transport the user a shorter distance. So that's probably not the best use of bounce. It can be used as a great way to escape, but not a good distance close on. And this seems to have a fast enough cooldown already maybe I should go with this make it like higher damage seems like a pretty good idea okay so then hmm move installed move installed Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, well, hmm. Just trying to see if there's actually a way to... Ah, yeah, there you go. Interesting. Okay, so... Good. Just one more block. Now I just... I want to show you something. Whoops. Okay, good. You can't undo it. That's nice to know. <laughs> just wanted to... See. Looks promising. Maybe not for your knees. Huh. Yeah, I think I like that more than Jaunt. It had the ability to be a really cool okay, upgrade a... for back, back, Leap. Back, back, back. Hmm. Process upgraded. Designation. Designation Jolk level 2. Huh. Well, let's open up with Bounce. Um, hmm. Sorry for the really crappy commentary. I'm just trying to figure out everything out. Huh. That's cute. They think I still have jaunt on. Hmm. Oop. There we go. Try to get they all. Want to make sure you hit as many people as you possibly can, I suppose. And go all out offense and that. <laughs> Try to get they all before they respawn. And now we play everyone's favorite game, run the ever living fuck away from that guy. Um I think that would probably be about a good idea. That was not the best plan I've ever had. And, no, uh, get away from me. He just keeps getting bigger. Maybe that's the designation jolk thing that they were talking about all y'all. And, let's try this. Man, combat in this game is so interesting. And like, this is, this is all new to me. I didn't expect any of this to be as it is. And it's just so... It's just so cool. And I'm so glad that I got this. Yeah, good call. <laughs> That's our way out. If nothing else, is actually... A little bit... It, it's less... I don't know. It's less quiet than... <laughs> um, Bastion. This is... Than Bastion was... I, I guess, because of the fact that, like, the only person who talked was Vux, um, and it was only at like designated points or when you died. Okay, E sixty four on ramp, five blocks down. Take the second right. Do not turn left. And thanks for the lift. <laughs> but the transistor just kind of doesn't shut up. <laughs> To the point where he might actually be considered tutorializing us. But this is possibly going to be a right. exposition dump. Turn left. Hm. Thought we were gonna skip town. We're going back there. You meant these things. They do not have a sense of humor. They will track you down, wipe you out, and take whatever's left of me. Back to those two bit camarada pieces of trash. Some kind of gang thing? Look, whatever you're thinking. Do me a favor. Don't let me go. Hmm. I kind of like that we were allowed to accelerate, if only to increase the tension now. 
even though it didn't really seem to matter. <laughs> because we were probably still going to be stuck there until the end of the cutscene. But hey, it gave us something to do during the cutscene. 